Hey guys. Okay. Whew. Okay. So welcome to the vlog. This today is April 17th. It's a Wednesday and um, I've already done my hour of cardio. I, for cardio, I don't know if I've said this already, but I do the stairs 30 minutes right now and I do the um, treadmill for 30 minutes and that gets my heart rate going. Like, I gotta do the stairs first and then do the treadmill. That way my heart rate can already be around 150 when I get on there. I am on my way. Oof, whatever. Okay, I'm on my way to Roman Empire Gym. Now, it's a little far. Like, it's a good 30 miles away. However, my friend and bikini babe, Shate is still in town from my last video. And so... We decided to go there to work out, and I think it's going to be a nice gym. I think the I think the day rate is like, I don't know, $25. It's something crazy, but it ain't $15, I know for a fact. But we're going there, and I'm doing glutes today. I know y'all get tired of me doing glutes. Hell, I get tired of me doing glutes. Can you see me? But... I know, like I said before, I feel like I've been saying the same thing over and over. And it, th I think prep is just a redundant reality. Like, I don't think it's going to be something new happening every day because something new is definitely not happening in my life every day. So I think it's just going to be a redundant thing. That's why I think these vlogs are great for people doing cardio, people getting experience about what it is. I love watching these type of blog blogs so I can just, you know, understand what's going on with other people's prep. Hopefully they're feeling the same way I'm feeling. Most likely they are. So I um doing glutes today. I might do a little bit of back. Cause I did heavy glutes on Monday, like super heavy glutes on Monday. So today is just gonna be another glute day and then I train with my trainer tomorrow with solo um i just wanted to talk about something really quickly so like i was watching aurelia's bro aurelia's vlog hey sis i'm gonna talk to you nice today period um she was talking about first i loved her vlog with her and her husband like that was so cool how you get to meet somebody and then they were just like your friend and then now like they're your husband and best friend and i don't know i love that kind of stuff like i love people being in love like it's, it's an amazing feeling i've been in love before it's an amazing feeling i pray that mm -hmm. god brings that man on to me so i can be in love again but i think that it's really beautiful to see a lot of these girls that i follow on these vlogs just really in their marriage and loving it and dealing with it, the struggles and the sacrifices, because I know it's a lot of sacrifice. I understand that. So I just love that they continue to show us it could be done. So I love that. And then second thing I want to talk about, she was talking about being discouraged during prep. So when I was going for my pro card, the second year, because I knew in my soul that I knew I needed that pro card because I was getting older and I was like, I will not be doing nationals every year and paying for this NPC pro card. Like that NPC pro card was like 250. I was not doing that every year. I mean, I'm not doing that every year for pro either. Cause I don't know how, if I'm, I'm a prep every year as a pro, I don't know. But, um, I just know that I under, I understand the discouragement, but also the grave sacrifice. Like, for me, it was more like, yes, losing the weight. I don't know if losing the weight was my biggest issue. My biggest issue was just looking the way I needed to to get the pro card. Um, I've, I've always been pretty muscular. There's no, like, I don't have to get down to 100 pounds. Thank God. Like, I don't have to get down to 100 pounds. But I know I need to get to a certain weight so I can, you know, look lean enough and all that good stuff. But I never had... I always had an ass, but I never had glutes. So I understand her discouragement. And if you're watching Aurelia, just know I see you, sis. And I've definitely been in that boat with you. And if I can give you any words of advice, it would just be keep pushing on. Um, definitely use your support system and 
Just continue to pray and ask God to continue to give you the insight, the courage, and the acknowledgement that you're in prep, you're doing all what you need to do, and let him do the rest. Like, he will do the rest. You just have to continue to do what you're doing. Like, like when you have faith, like, faith is, like, amazing. I can't, I mean, I'm not a preacher or nothing like that. I just really believe that when you have faith in God and you really at, oh, I don't want to stop crying, Lord. When you have faith in God and you really hone into that faith, like, God always shows up. He always, always shows up. And it's like, it's, it's, I'm driving and crying and I'm trying not to cry, but he always shows up. And I know whenever I was going to through things like with the salon during COVID and just all those things, like he always shows up. And so that's why, like I say this year, my motto is to let it go. Let things go like whatever happens to in your life like let it go pray about it be you know be allow God to use you because he created you so you can rely on him to get through the things that you need to get through you know so when you go through things and you're not mentally where you need to be just pray to God ask him the things that you need to ask him for Matthew 7 and 7 and then let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So back to Aurelia. I love you, sis. You are my sorority sister. You are my master's bikini sister. Um, you're going to do amazing. And just know that God has already prepared the plan for you. You just have to do what you're doing, take the rest that you need, and then let it go. Everything will turn out the way it is. All right. I cannot believe I was on here crying. And this is the first part of the of the video. Like, whoo, Jesus, I need to eat something. Anyway, I'm about to eat my pre-workout meal, which is my meal two, which is my tilapia, this quinoa, and lettuce kale mix, which is really good, by the way. Eat this as I drive these 90 miles to this gym, and then I will see you guys at the gym. <music> Today is um April, today's the 18th. I did my cardio this morning. I also went to the gym. So you see I'm all wet. I did my gym. I did cardio. I did all the things. I get, I'm driving to the gym and a light comes on. And mind you, I'm a woman. Not to say women don't know, but I'm a woman. My light comes on. It says, turn engine off. I'm on the freeway. Turn engine off, add coolant. So I'm like, oh shit. So I get to the gym, I work out, do the things. And then I said, let me just go to AutoZone. I get to AutoZone and I have to add coolant to my car. I bought the coolant. Now he tells me that I have to wait 30 minutes until the car cools down 
to add the coolant. So now I'm just sitting out here waiting because there's nowhere to sit down in AutoZone apparently. So I guess these are the times where I just feel like somebody come help me. <laughs> I just want somebody to come help me. But I guess it's going to be okay. So just sitting out here waiting. It's actually a really nice day. It's just hot. So 30 minutes, I will update you guys on what's going on. So I ended up having to buy this coolant after 15 minutes and I put it in myself. Hey guys. So, oh, okay. 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 All right. So I put the coolant in the car and, um, that was my first time ever doing, see, so, sometimes I feel like with that kind of stuff, I didn't actually mind him telling me I had to do it because, you know, if anything were to happen and he spilled it or he messed it up, he would have been liable and then it would have been a whole situation. So I was fine. And plus I needed to learn. So it was fine. So I did that and I bought the coolant. I showed y'all the coolant and it wasn't too bad. Like I just poured it in, filled it to the minimum line and it was all good. So now I know how to put coolant in the car. <laughs> I, I did a YouTube video and everything just to put them cooling in the car. So I feel like I'm growing as an adult. So that was cool. So now I've done cardio, gym, post cardio. I've clearly done so much. I've already burned. I've walked 13,000 steps already and I burned 1,300 calories already. So I'm really done for today. Um, I'm about to go pick up. I'm about to go home, pick up my nephew and my nieces a little bit later today and then um I'm supposed to be going out tonight but we'll see what happens I um sometimes when I have the kids it's kind of hard to like go out just because I do have them and I can't just leave them and so um we will see and hopefully I get to get to go out but um we will see so Hey guys, so it's the end of the night. I am at a, um, a club that closed before COVID. It just opened for one night only. It's called Alley Cat here in Houston. I'm here to see my friend who I haven't seen maybe all year. So I'm here, we're gonna have some fun and hopefully I can videotape a little bit of it. Her name is Keyshawn. My friend Lauren is supposed to come too, but I'm not sure if she's coming, but I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm excited, I got all cute. Hey guys, so I just want to come on real quick and just say, um, God will always keep you. He will always keep you. He will always take care of you. You just have to have faith. Yesterday was a very trying day. I don't think I, I posted like twice, but it was just a lot going on yesterday. I cried a couple of times. My sisters are looking at me like, why are you still crying? And so like yesterday was trying, but once I like calmed myself down and just really prayed about my situation, he really instilled in me that I was going to be okay. And I woke up with so much peace and I woke up with so much convic conviction that I was going to be okay. So I just, I don't know. Today is, I pray it's not a crazy day today. So I pray today is going to be a great day. I have a, I just did a competitor's makeup. It was her first time. I posted here, but it's her first show today. So I just did her makeup. And so I am now about to go to and do a wedding. I have an all-day wedding. And so just want to let you know, like, God is always there. He's always around you. You just pray for your desires, and he'll instill it in your heart. And again, my motto is let go, let go, let. And I have to keep saying that, keep saying that. So I just want to encourage anyone that's just 
going through anxiety or going through struggles or challenges, you gotta let it go. Like you're gonna find so much more peace. And I have to continue to tell myself that. And every time I do, I feel better. So I just wanna come on here and say that. Um, I have a very busy day today. So guys, be blessed. Happy Saturday. And I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, so today is Saturday, April 20th. Okay, so I can't remember the last time I filmed, but I'm just going to update y'all on the last couple of days. So I've been going through a lot. I've been crying like every day. My Yesterday, well Thursday, my car's coolant light came on. And so I said, okay, I'll just go buy some coolant, right? I went to AutoZone, bought the coolant, and the guy helped me put the coolant in, and I thought I was good. I went out that night, came home Friday morning. My cooling light is back on. So I look and half of the, I guess, container of coolant was back low again. So I'm assuming I have a leak. So I couldn't drive my car yesterday. And then also I had to work yesterday. So I cried all day yesterday because it's just things happening over and over and over again. And it's like the stress is high food is low cardio is high so mentally i've just been wasn't prepared to deal with you know auto repair and now that i take my cars to the Aldi dealership and that's gonna be a bill i wasn't expecting so i was just talking with my sisters yesterday i cried to both of them yesterday and i told them both about me wanting to move out and to have clarity thank you so much for you guys for um messaging me and just letting me know that it's okay to not be okay sometimes because I'm the kind of person that always likes to be okay and I'm the oldest I'm you know I, f I consider myself responsible so I'm always trying to make sure people are good um and I just wasn't okay yesterday and a couple of days before that where I just been going through so much but I just want to update you guys on that. Today is Saturday. I just finished a competitor. Um, she's doing her first show today, um, and I'm so excited. If I get her bikini, I just posted her um, makeup situation. If I get to see her in her bikini, I'll post that here. But she looked beautiful. She was so excited, and I'm so excited for her. And I, I know that feeling, you know, having your first show and not really knowing what to expect and just going out there and just trying to be confident. It can be hard sometimes, but I know that she's going to be fine. She's been prepping since December, so I'm sure she'll be fine. Just a matter of getting out there and doing it. Today I have a wedding. So it's an all-day wedding, so I'm just about to pack my bag up here. I'll get some content of me at the wedding and going to the wedding. And then, um, yeah, Saturdays, I don't work out. I don't do cardio on Saturdays, ever. It, unless I don't have to work, which is rare. So I just try to keep my Saturdays as a day as a rest day. So um, that's pretty much it. just want to update you guys and um, keep y'all in the loop of what, about what's what I have going on. So now I'm on my way to the wedding.
I just went down. I'm chilling in this like nursery type of place. It's a church. But I just want to come on and say thank you to everybody's response to um, my story from earlier. I really feel like, and this is just me. Like I said, I've been crying all week, the entire week. God is really, he's shifting me. And I don't know what exactly the shift is, but he's shifting me. And it feels really profound and I'm not sure what it is exactly but it feels really really profound happy Monday okay so um welcome back I have a busy week this week yesterday I didn't do nothing last today I stayed home with my mom to help take care of the kids <laughs> I washed clothes, I cleaned up the house, um, and that was pretty much it yesterday. Today's Monday, I did my cardio already this morning, um, now I'm about to go to the gym, work out, and then take my car to Audi, because I didn't want to go to the dealership, however, if I go to the dealership, pay the money, and something happens, I can always take it back. If I go to a regular mechanic... Not that it won't be fixed, but who knows how long. And then I might not have a warranty. And so my inner self is just telling me, just go to the, um, just go to the Audi dealership. It's going to be money. However, I'm almost done paying off on this car. And once I finish paying this car, I'll, I'll be done paying off this car in, in this year. But once I finish paying off this car, we'll see what happens with it. But I'd rather just go and get it fixed anyway. Um, Things are always being thrown at us in life, and we just have to figure out what to do and move on from it. Uh, but, you know, God is good. He allows us to get up and work out and do the things that a lot of people aren't afforded the opportunity to do. So I continuously live in a state of gratitude, and so that was that. I didn't feel like picking up the camera. I didn't feel like talking about it. Um... I just wasn't in the mood to do anything. So this is a new week. I have a very exciting week this week. Um, I'm cutting my hair this week. Next week is my birthday. And so I, I'm going to really live in a place of gratitude this week and just allow myself to be thankful for the things that I do have. Okay, I've already talked three minutes about that. So I'm on my way to the gym to do heavy glutes. I did check-ins this morning. Um, coach said I look great. I just need to stay on my glutes as that's always my feedback from my check-ins. Stay on my glutes. Um, so I'll do that. Um, my weight is going down slowly. Um, slower than I thought it would go. I thought it'd be going a little bit quicker, but it's going down pretty slow. But, um, we have a long prep. I still have about 14, 15 more weeks. So, um, I'm thankful for the journey. So, I'm on my way to the gym, and I'll meet you guys there. Just ready for something new. So, it's my hair. Let me 